Hey guys, how you doing? So, let's jump into it. Google tells employees to stay away from its own barred chatbot. I thought this is interesting here. So, Alphabet Inc. advised employees not to enter confidential information into chatbots like OpenAI's ChatGPT or Google's own Bard over fears of leaks. Okay, so uh, this is interesting because I was talking to somebody a few weeks ago and they work for a company and when they found out that their developers were actually using ChatGPT to help them write code, they put the big uh, chop on that for the same reasons. So I remember I commented on that. I wasn't, you know, I was like, you know, how, how insecure is it? Well, if you're doing just boilerplate code, which is what I would recommend you use uh, any AI tool to do, uh, I don't see how you're revealing any uh, super secrets about your organization's internal, uh, you know, IP. That said, you know, when you hear about Google, doesn't want their own employees to use their own chatbot. That kind of makes sense to me. Uh, that means, oh boy, you know, maybe we should pay attention. That being said, a friend of mine who actually works for one of the bigs, one of the big companies out there, I won't say which one, mm. and his job is to actually research on how to hide personal information or private information from the chat bots, from the AI. He's literally... That's his job, to figure out how to do that, how to obscure sensitive information from the AI while still allowing the AI to do what the AI can do. So that's an interesting dilemma they're dealing with. And uh, so it's a real thing. So as Google continues to refine its own AI chatbot named Bard, its parent company Alphabet Inc. has a clear directive for its employees, be careful around chatbots, even Bard. And so we go down here. This is from Gizmodo. Four sources close to the matter told Reuters, I guess it's from Reuters, that the massive tech giant has advised employees not to enter confidential information to chatbots like OpenAI's ChatGPT or Google's own Bard for fears of leaks. Alphabet is reportedly concerned with employees inputting sensitive information into these chatbots since human reviewers may sit on the other end reviewing chat entries. These chatbots may also use previous entries to train themselves, posing another risk of leak. That risk is warranted as Samsung confirmed last month that its own internal data had been leaked after staff used chat GPT. Uh, so there you go. It's not theoretical. I can see the problem when you're using an AI, and let's say you're saying, I'm not going to put any sensitive information into it, but you know, when you're doing the work, you're in it, you're in the zone, you're adding stuff, you're trying to get the job done. You may inadvertently, uh, in a moment of uh, non-discretion, if you will, you may actually add in confidential information that will cause problems. So I could see that. Uh, Google, Google did not immediately return Gizmodo's request for comment on the employee directive. In January, an Amazon lawyer urged employees at the company to not share code with ChatGPT. Chat the lawyer specifically requested that employees not share any Amazon confidential information, including Amazon code you are working on with ChatGPT, according to screenshots of Slack messages reviewed by the insider. Yeah, that makes sense, right? If you're working on some projects that are sensitive, and you don't want your competitors to know about what you're working on. If you use ChatGPT and you throw in the code, the code would give competitors a good idea what you might be working on. So for example, when they do leaks on Apple devices, uh, a lot of times they'll figure out what's coming up in the new hardware by looking at uh, the source code in some of the software. And they're able to uh, find some uh, clues in the code that tell people, oh, okay, this, this new uh, MacBook Air is coming out or his new version of uh, whatever, whatever is coming out. So that makes sense to me. Last month, Apple pushed a similar injunction onto its employees. Internal documents obtained by the Wall Street Journal showed that Apple forbade employees from using ChatGPT and the Microsoft-owned GitHub Copilot. They don't even want them to use Copilot. <laughs> An AI code writer. Sources told of a journal that Apple, like every big tech player in tech, is interested in building its own large language model. And Apple purchased two AI startups in 2020 for 200 million, 50 million, respectively. Huh. 
Google released BARD, its chat GPT competitor in March. BARD is built with Google's own in-house artificial intelligence engine called, engine called Language Model for Dialogue Applications, or LAMDA. A little over a month before BARD's release, a leaked memo revealed that Google CEO Sundar Pichai asked Googlers across the company to test BARD for two to four hours during the day. This week, Google delayed the release of BARD in the European Union after Irish regulators cited privacy concerns. The Irish Data Protection Commission claims that Google and BARD do not comply with the personal data protection law. All right, that's it for the article. So there you go. It's on Gizmodo. You can just search uh, search this headline. I won't have to put the link in. And you, if you want to read it for yourself, that's very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. I think um, I think it's warranted. I think in some circumstances warranted. You know, if you're building generic stuff where the code won't point to anything in particular, then I would say use it. Or maybe you can work on problems. Uh, in code outside of the context of what you're doing, meaning let's say you're working, I don't know, you're working out how to do threading in Java or something. So you don't put in your own threading specific code, you just kind of create the boilerplate, kind of a model of it with the help of an AI. And then once you got that, then you can bring that in and then massage it accordingly to suit your own particular needs. Anyway, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions, you know what to do. Put it before, below. My name is Steph, Uncle Steph of Uncle, I'm Steph of Uncle Steph. There you go. And I mentor people in the ways of code and so many other things. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.